right, guys, are y'all ready to learn how to make homemade Southern biscuits? When I was a little girl, I used to watch my grandmother and I was just amazed at how she made her biscuits. So, mom told me how to do it the other day. And I was like, that's it? And she's like, yeah, that's all it is. So, I'm going to try. It may not turn out. <laughs> it probably won't turn out. But let's see what happens. All right, to make them, she said you need a, a wide bowl. See how wide that is? Kind of low. But you need something like that to mix it in. And the ingredients are self rising flour, buttermilk, and get the whole milk, buttermilk, don't get light, and Crisco. So, let's do this. All right, first we're going to just pour a bunch of flour into our big bowl. And I mean a bunch. All right, so here's the flour, and I've brushed it around, and I've made a well in the middle of the bowl. See that? All right, next we're going to add our buttermilk. All right, I'm pouring the buttermilk in the hole. And then I'm going to do the oil. You see the bubble come up? That's when you know you've got enough. So now we get to start mixing it. All right. And how my grandmother, this is my favorite part. This is what I used to love to watch my grandmother do. She would kind of mix it all together like this. Get it all mixed up with her hand. And then she would start going around the edges like this. Little by little. Pulling in that flour. See how that's doing? Okay, so far it's just as much fun as my grandmother made it look. You just keep doing what I showed you. All around the bowl, go round and round. And uh, it's so much fun, it feels so good. I didn't even know my mama knew how to make biscuits because she never made them. She said, uh, I, did, I don't make them because when I was little, I had to make them all the time and I hated it. <laughs> so I was like, well, it looks like fun to me. And so far I am loving this. All right, this is what it's looking like. See, it's getting thicker and thicker. And I just keep going round and round. See how thick it looks. All right, we're almost there. And now I'm kind of flipping it over on itself little bit and I think I'm at the right consistency you don't want it to be gushy where it still sticks to your fingers but you don't want it to be see like right there it's kind of sticking so I'm gonna put a little more flour all right I think I got it see how that does when I pat it kind of pats kind of bounces back at you. All right, so ready to start making biscuits or forming them anyway. All right, I've just rubbed grease on a skillet and um, got the oven preheating to 350 and now I'm fixing to start patting out my biscuits. 
And mom said to wash your hands after you get done. That way when you're doing your biscuits, it will won't get all, you know, they won't stick to it and you'll have prettier biscuits. All right, so. Whew. All right, mama would pin, pinch off a wad and then she would go, she would form them like this, okay? <laughs> yeah, hey, it's looking pretty good. She would just rub them like little baby's butts. Look at that biscuit I made. Ta -da. I kind of, kind of pat it out just a little bit and make sure it's all good and smooth and there's no wrinkles. All right, can y'all see it? All right now I'm gonna put it in my pan. Okay, I pinched off another wad. And we're just gonna rub it around, rub it, rub it. Maybe put just a teeny bit of flour on the top. Rub it, roll it. I think I need a little more flour next time, but I mean, a bigger piece of dough. There we go, biscuit in the pan. Right, this time I got a bigger piece, see? <laughs> Gonna rub it. Little baby's bottoms. Gonna put a little bit of flour on top. And they said you don't want to overwork a biscuit or else it'll make it tough. So, hmm. now see that one's got a big old wrinkle in it. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't like that. My other one didn't. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Wonder if that's where the song came from everybody making biscuits in the mornings oh, that turned out pretty good you know i'm kind of rolling it around in my hand just a little bit Roll them up, roll them up, throw them in the pan. <laughs> I mean, if these turn out good, oh my gosh, how easy was this? But did I mix it right? That one looks pretty. Are they going to be too big? Are they going to be? <laughs> We'll see. All right. Whoop, too much. A little bit more depth. All right. Roll them up. Roll them up. If I have been avoiding this all these years because I thought it was too hard to make and these turn out really really good <laughs> I'm gonna be sad uh, if they turn out to taste like my grandmother's oh my grandmother can make a biscuit 
Let me tell you. And in the afternoon, if she had some left over for breakfast, you could put a piece of ham in it. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Of course, they had country ham. It's not like the little deli ham we have now, but. This one's being a little bit stubborn. Okay, there they are in my skillet, all pretty and round. And now I'm fixing to pop them in the oven. And one more thing, Mom said to rub them, rub the top of the dough, the biscuit dough in the pan um, with just a little bit of oil. It'll make your um, biscuits real crispy and uh, real golden brown. So let's try that. Uh, see, I'm just kind of dipping my fingers in the oil. Kind of rubbing the, the tops with it, see? Just a teeny tad. Like I said, just dip your fingers in there. Okay, ready to go in the oven. Okay, and also I had enough to do this whole cookie sheet. See, my little biscuit. <laughs> okay, can you see? That's what they look like. Now let's put them in the oven. That's all that's left of my bowl. One big mess. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to taste these. All right, here they are. I will have to say they are very fluffy. Um, mine are a bit more wrinkled than what my grandmother's were. <laughs> and uh, I have not tasted them. And in the South, with a big old biscuit like this, you call it a cat head biscuit. I guess because it's the size of cat head. So, let me try them. See if they taste like bricks or if they taste like biscuits. All right, I split it open. I put butter and grape jelly. Let's see what it tastes like. Here we go. Cement or biscuit? That is the question. That is really good. I'm not there yet um, as far as tasting, just like my grandmother's, but it's good for my first biscuit made. So y'all try it. <laughs> it really is good. So I just finished my biscuit. Y'all, if I would have known all these years that's how easy it was to make a biscuit. <laughs> I mean, canned biscuits are no more. I mean, it was so easy. It didn't take five minutes and they are so good. I mean, they were really good. They were a bit crumbly, but who cares? I mean, they were delicious. So, really try to do this at your house. I mean, I'm just, I am shocked. <laughs> they were great. Guess what we're doing? Uh-huh. Flea market time. And we're not around anybody. It's pretty much us and two other people in this ginormous store, so. We're safe. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hello. I know you. 
Six feet, young lady. Six feet. Six. We live together. That's right. So we can do Kinda this. Sorta. We can. Oh. We can go like this. How careful. do I do that? <laughs> oh, too, too close. Looking at. Oh, you need this for your room. You could put it on Dad's nightstand. Okay. So oh, yeah. It screams. It poppy. screams Poppy. Exactly. Or what every you make Poppy scream. Either. <laughs> one. So cute. What every Poppy needs. Stuff you find, I swear. Like you have everything. Yeah. It is vintage. I'll give you that. So. It is? Yes, it is. It's just vintage. It's a flower vase. So is this, but I don't want it. <laughs> it's a flower vase? Some people just park their buggies right in the middle of the floor and just, I mean, who do they think they are? Yeah, it's a flower vase. Well, the Lord's Supper. In velvet. Mom, it's seven fifty. Wow. You don't like it? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let me see. I kind of think that's neat, huh? Well, it looks old, doesn't it? I know. This ain't what you like. Mama for. had a huge one. I mean, I know. It was metal, though, wasn't it? Wasn't it like. Where is that? I bet Betty and Lona. I know. Where is that? I hope they got it. I'm going to have to ask Nana where that is. Okay, so we got something for Daddy's nice here, right? You're gonna love this. Oh, I can't wait. This is for your nights. I should just try to get it wait. to you for Christmas. Yeah, you might better. All right, it's sand washed, <laughs> decorative bathing beauty. <laughs> it's me. There I am. Bathing beauty. Yeah, no, that should go on your dad's nightstand. Well, no, we better not do that. Oh, he just couldn't sleep. Hey, he um, would just sleep. Yeah, Ooh. he'd be like, woohoo. Uh -huh. There she is, brother. Mm -hmm. This you need it. I need it. Definitely need it. It matches your outfit. So <laughs> I need it. I can have it. You can. Oh, <gasps> it is three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy this for Nana for Christmas. <laughs> she would be like, oh. she would be like, thank I you. I for your lake house, man. Yes, it's perfect. Oh it's perfect for the lake house out these bowls they're ceramic on the inside wooden on the outside and they are five bucks a bowl and they're different isn't that cool i love these great serving pieces oh and this one even comes with a little knife i wonder why the rest of them don't come with a little knife oh that one does i wonder if they're more expensive Oh, the one with the knife is $10. I'll stick with the one without the knife. I got my own knives. Isn't that cute? I don't believe it. This, guys, this was my Easy Bake oven. Yes, I have one exactly like this and i made cakes for my brother all the time and he ate them oh my gosh 40 bucks i mean that is adorable i cannot believe i found one of those y'all my mom's tripping yep. she's very excited about her new find guys da, 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 da. look at this oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh you could put it in a bathroom robin come get your friend you put it on a dresser you put it on a shelf somewhere. I mean, look, and it's so cute. And guess, guess. Yeah, I guess. will say the price is pretty good. Guess how much? Ready? One dollar. One dollar. She is like beyond happy dollar. about this. I got this for. A we dollar. need to get out more often. <laughs> Amazing finds at my local thrift store. This bathing beauty. 
only three dollars this lady in a hat this vintage celery tray this little baby hiding behind a star this zombie waffle lady this amazing tea kettle and, and you pour the liquid out the pig head this lady with a lazy eye to hang your oven mitts from this piece of wood with some nuts on it this little guy carrying a football with a bug on it and oh my gosh if i've ever this here is a foot foot stool oh my oh look at these toes this construction worker man that scared the living hell out of me now look at here from the sewing factory from 19 all you do is step on it and more amazing finds from my local antique store this amazing floating lady she's hovering y'all i came in like a wrecking ball this really fancy lady with a little switch right here you can switch on and off yeah it's really cool this tiny hurt dog I wonder what happened to him this little duck i wonder what happened to him too this big metal pig that can fly away this here bag of baby parts this really colorful turtle with a wire sticking out of it this beautiful cat made out of a quilt this grandma that you can pour stuff out of this old can of baked beans that they put a sticker on and a ribbon and it's only ten dollars what a find this vintage clown cabinet that would scare the hell out of me and give me night and on that note we will conclude this video um i hope y'all enjoyed it and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and tell your friends and family about my channel and invite them to come and join us and um i just hope all y'all have a really great week and thanks so much for watching